guys, it's now August 4th, 2016, which means it is the fifth day of the 7 and 7 readathon. I woke up about an hour ago, it is 10.30, and I edited a video, my Suicide Squad book tag. So that will be up sometime next week, it's just exporting right now. I don't really have that many plans today, I don't think I have any plans actually, so a lot of reading will actually be done, so that's a good bonus for the day. I might film another video, I haven't decided yet, but my update for this morning, I have not read anything else from Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. I just have no interest in it right now. Maybe I'll get to it later on in the day, but as of right now, I'm just like, well, I don't want to read you. And now I am 145 pages into Please Ignore Vera Dites. Definitely enjoying this still. It's pretty interesting. I really want to know the mystery and what actually happened to Charlie. I'm very excited to finish this today. That's my goal. I'm going to finish this. We're on our way. To, where are we going? The bank. The bank. Because I have money. And trying to find cheese. Why are we finding cheese? For a chicken meal. Is that what we're having tonight? Yeah. Exciting! Is it? Well, food is exciting. I like food. It makes you happy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We are now at Fortino's. We have a watermelon friend. His name is Steven. Yes, Steven the watermelon. And we also have broccoli. We're looking for cheese now because Denninger's is too far away. Well, it's not. If we can't find it here, then we'll go to Denninger's. Well, we're gonna find it here. Are we? Yes. Well, we'll find it here. Find it in a special spot. Special cheese spot. How exclusive. Update of our cheese looking for mission. How's it going? Looking for mission. Yes, the update of our cheese wow. mission. Do you want um, more goat cheese, by the way? Yes. Oh, Update on our cheese hunt. Okay. We got goat cheese, but no Colby Jack no cheese. Colby Jack. So where are we going? Denninger. There you go. Anymore. Update on the great cheese hunt. How's it going? Have we found it yet? They all look the same. Where is the cheese? What happened, Mom? Couldn't find it. Doesn't exist anymore. Don't so know. we get Monterey Jack. Is it called? Monterey. Mon Monterey. Okay. How do you say it? That's what you say. Yeah, so what did you say? It sounded funny. We're on our way to the best thrift store in the entire world for books because they're $1.95 and this is very exciting because your girl broke. So when you can get a brand new book for $1.95, it's a good day. Sadly, no books were purchased. And I'm upset about it. How did your shopping go? Not what I wanted. She got potatoes. Reading update. It is now 1.30 in the afternoon. I am now at page 145 of Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. It's getting a little bit better, but still not my favorite book. So that's a disappointment. Also, I'm on page 145 of Please Ignore Vera Dites by A.S. King. Liking this still a lot more than the John Corey Whaley book. Hopefully going to finish both the books by the end of the day because now I got nothing to do. So I'm just gonna read and read and read and read. It is now around 3.30 in the afternoon. I just filmed an unboxing video. I had like three books to unbox from Goodreads. So that's done. I need to edit that video. Actually done quite a bit of reading today, which is exciting. I am now on 170 of Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. Still not really my thing. It's getting a lot better than it was at the beginning. There's not as much religious stuff in it now, so I'm enjoying that a lot more. I'm probably still only going to give it like a 2.5. Only 228 pages in this book and I'm on 170, so we're going to be done soon and then I'll write my review and y'all can check that out on Goodreads if y'all are interested. I am also 150 pages into Please Ignore Veridites by A.S. King and the mystery is going to be solved soon, so I'm very excited because I really want to know what the heck happened to Charlie. Because I really like Charlie and I think that he should be alive because I'm kind of upset that he's not like a main focus in this book. My mom and I are planning to go to the movies tonight. I have no idea what movie we're seeing, but we've decided that that's going to be a thing. So I will keep you guys updated on what movie we see. It's probably going to be Ghostbusters. I really want to see Suicide Squad, but it's like opening night, so you know, it's not a good idea. 
And I really want to see Nerve as well, but that's playing at the movie theater that's like 20 minutes away from us, so probably not gonna happen. But we'll see which one we pick. Okay, so another update time. It's about 6 o'clock and I am 208 pages into Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley and I'm so annoyed right now. I, I basically called the ending of this book. I still have like 20 pages left, but it was so obvious what happened to Gabriel and I'm so annoyed because I don't like books where I can call the ending. And the fact that this was so boring at the beginning and then I was able to call the ending too, I hate it. <laughs> Also, I said on Goodreads that I was going to be able to call the ending, and if I could, you guys owe me 20 bucks. And I was able to call the ending, so cough up your money, people. I don't even want to finish the book because I am so annoyed by being able to call the ending. <sighs> I'm on 2.14 now, so I only have, like, whatever that math is, but I am not into it. But I kind of want to finish it just to say that I'm done, finally. Officially finished. Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. I am so unimpressed by the ending. Called it 100%. It was so obvious, and I am pissed off about it. I'm gonna give it probably a 2.5 out of 5 stars. I didn't think it was a terrible book, and I can see why people like it, but just, I'm so annoyed by it right now. I'll write my review later, because I don't even want to deal with it right now. <laughs> what movie did we choose? You chose. I chose Nerve. Because Mom doesn't want to see Suicide Squad. Well, I also heard there were bad reviews about it. Well, probably. It's probably going to be terrible. Billy Quinn is hot. Um, Jack, damn, girl. Look at her. <laughs> we're both like, I'm, I'm trying to vlog here. Do you agree that I am vlogging? <laughs> Do you agree? I am vlogging! Okay, so we're going to go see Nerve. <laughs> and I recently read the book, so I'm kind of excited about it, but it's probably going to be a terrible movie. Also, I have to wear this giant sweater, which is very hot. It's 89, 87. Yeah, it's 87 degrees outside. I am sweating, but we have to smuggle in candy. And therefore... <laughs> With what money? Exactly. Exactly. The movie is over. What are your thoughts? A little far-fetched. I would like to say the book is nothing like the movie. <laughs> the only similar thing is that they have the names V, Sydney, and Tommy, and Ian. That's about it. Everything else is different. And the concept of the dare. The game. Yeah. Other than that, all the dares are different. And a lot more exciting. I wouldn't know because I haven't read the book, so. Yeah, but the book was like, put cold water on your head. The dares in the movie were a lot more like, And would you, would you do any of those? Uh, where, where would you have stopped that? Um, the motorcycle, like the motorcycle one? I would get the tattoo, as long as it wasn't like, boner garage. <laughs> like, as long as it was at least a little bit classy. I was reading, I was reading. I finished my book. You did, you did because you stayed in your room all day. Yes, I did. Um, and did you like that book? last book? The no! Blue, the blue book. No! Why did you You can like... see my full thoughts in my <laughs> vlog! Shameless plug. I was very mad at that book. It really- what was the you owe me 20 bucks? What's that mean? Because I called the ending. I was like- I was oh. reading it and I was like 100% this is what's gonna happen and then a couple pages later that's what happened. I was I like, wow! It. So I'm now back at home. It's around 10 p.m. 10 30 ish and I'm gonna go edit the vlog for today. So this one right now. I'm gonna go edit it. And then I might do some reading or I might make Cole FaceTime me. We'll see what I'm feeling. So I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow.